This video was supposed to be a quick, easy vlog of me picking up my Tesla Model 3 and driving it around to get my first impressions and reactions to the car. But that is exactly what this video is not. A couple of weeks ago, I purchased my first Tesla. The details of the car were as follows. It was a black 2019 Model 3 with 32,000 miles on the odometer. It was a long range, rear wheel drive model, but most importantly, it had full self driving. After completing my order, paying for shipping, down payment, insurance coverage, and financing all through the Tesla app, and after a couple of delays with the DMV getting the temporary tags for my car, the day finally came for me to pick up my Tesla on January 21st. After checking in with the front desk at the Tesla store, I was shown to my new vehicle out in the parking lot, and I was told go ahead and walk around it, inspect it, let us know if there's anything that you see that's of concern, and whenever you're ready, you can open up the app and accept delivery of the car. If you don't know, whenever you buy a Tesla, you do all the steps, they get the car to the Tesla store and whenever you get there inspect it and you're satisfied with it you open up the app and when you hit accept delivery your phone then becomes a key to the car and the car officially becomes yours. So off the rip, something just felt off about the vehicle. There were paint chips everywhere that you could tell they did a decent job of trying to paint correct it and, and, and fix those as much as they could, but still uh, the paint was just in terrible condition. It looked like this car had ran through a wheat field uh, on the underside. I peeped inside the window and saw like scratches on the center console. And at that point I asked the lady, hey, I know you're not like supposed to do this, but can I go ahead and just like sit inside the car before accepting delivery? I really want to check it out a little bit more. So she she obliged, she opened the door. I was able to sit in the cabin and kind of get a feel for everything, look at everything. There were plastic trim pieces that were a bit loose. Things were dirty. It was all of those little details added up that just made my spidey senses start tingling. The car really didn't seem like it was a vehicle that was taken care of by the previous owner. So I hop out of the car and I mention these little things to the lady that was showing us the car. And she says to me, unfortunately, when you buy a used vehicle from Tesla, they're sold as is because Tesla does their full inspection and all cars that they are selling uh, definitely meet their like minimum, their basic standard, whatever it is. That's kind of the answer I was expecting. All in all, I was about to reluctantly accept the vehicle until we did our final pass. We looked down, we noticed that the paint on the front right bumper was different than the paint on the front right quarter panel. And not only that, the panel gap where the quarter panel meets the bumper it was overlapping and there was like a little bit of a scratch so you could tell that the bumper was almost like shoved up into the quarter panel okay so the spidey senses that were tingling they were now full-on alarm bells so at this point I tell the lady that's helping us hey look I need to see if I can speak to somebody about this she had an operations advisor come out and speak with me so now I'm gonna play some of the audio from that conversation I had with the operations advisor but I cut out the video just to protect her privacy trying to explain to me real quick but basically you were saying that the there were just like a couple things with the car that you were yeah. hesitant about so basically online you know i just said you know no accident damage no no history like that but in inspecting the car the front right bumper you can tell it's been damaged and repaired it's got different paint on it the panel gap is like shoved up into the front quarter panel yeah because on the front left it looks fine everything lines up the paint matches but on the front right uh, it's a different paint in just one section of it. So you can see right here, this is the regular paint. And then oh, this, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, that's, and then the quarter panel right here is shoved up over the bumper. It's, it's, and, yeah, no, no, definitely. I yeah. yeah, it's a slightly different texture as well. It feels like a really weird PPS. Right. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's yeah, definitely I, got accident history. I, I wanted to, if you don't mind, I, I kind of want to take it back there for a second. Sure. And see if there's anything that we can kind of look at or try yeah. and do because this definitely feels like a completely different yeah we get to the car i point to the problem area on the front right bumper and thank god she actually immediately agreed with me that something was very suspicious about this vehicle she pulled the vehicle into the service area she had them inspect it lift it up on the stand take photos after about 30 minutes she came back showed me the photos of the bumper in the new light of the service area and she told me that unanimously everyone in the service department agreed that this car should not have met their standards it should not have passed inspection there had obviously been repairs that were unreported i saw it on the picture yeah in the light whenever she brought it in the yeah. light you can actually tell it's two different yeah. colors it's two different everything it's like right and like the, the, no yeah it. it's all good well the thing is like you know since it's unreported mm -hmm. We don't know if it was an accident or if it's just paint. If right. it was just paint and we could know for a fact right. it was just paint, whatever, you know, yeah, it's just that paint. Was two different 
Yeah, I looked at it and I was like, oh, snap, now yeah. I see, because I didn't I'm see so it. I'm so glad I noticed that. Yeah, for real. Which, like, hey, I, I really appreciate your help. Yeah. And, like, I'm I'm, us- I'm never one to, like, cause a fuss or anything, but yeah, so I feel chill. so bad. <laughs> no, you're so chill. I even told her, like, he's super nice. Like, he yeah. just has these questions about the used cars. So. I appreciate it, yeah. yeah. No problem, no problem. So at this point, the operations advisor comes out from the service department and presents to me two options. The first solution was to completely replace the bumper. They had a new black bumper in stock, that would match the vehicle and they could throw it on and send me on my way. I respectfully declined for two reasons. No, all good. But um, I confirmed with service and with the use team, we can replace it. So uh, The car? The, the bumper. Mm. Yes. So it would be knocked out in two hours and we would definitely try and buff the hood for y'all because just why not, you know, at that point. Uh, but what are we thinking? So... Two things. Mm -hmm. I feel like I still can't accept it just because if we could know for a fact that it was just paint damage, but the fact that it may have been unreported accident damage, let's say in the future something happens, I have to bring the car in, they take the bump. Oh, hey, why, didn't you why is there no, why is there accident? Did you and then it looks like it falls on me, yeah. and then also I when I understand. yeah when I go to resell the car, if somebody yes. else notices it, I can't get the value of the car, you know. I get it. Um, I- so at this point, I thought all hope was lost. I thought I was just going to have to walk away with no Tesla today uh, because when she came out, she didn't tell me, hey, there's two options. She just started straight away with, hey, if you want, we can replace the bumper. I respectfully declined. And at that point, I was fully ready to just hold the L and walk out the door with my head held high, knowing that at least I tried. But then she hit me with just out of left field, the second option, which I honestly did not expect. Well, in that case, you know the car that I thought wasn't here? Mm-hmm. Oh my so, god. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, wanted to, I wanted to give you guys like both options because uh, I, I do want you to keep in mind that like though we can, you know, kind of get you through this car and everything, it's basically like you're placing a whole other one. So basically while all of this was going on, they were inspecting the vehicle. My dad and I hopped on Tesla's used inventory website and we actually found another vehicle that was priced $1,000 cheaper than the one that I was about to purchase. It had all wheel drive instead of rear wheel drive. It still had FSD and it had the acceleration boost and upgraded audio package. And it was a 2020 model instead of a 2019 model. And it had 19 inch wheels instead of the ugly electric vehicle looking 18 inch wheels. We had casually mentioned it to her like, hey, maybe, you know, if this car doesn't work out, maybe we can do like an even swap and see if I can get this car, but it didn't even look like that car was in the inventory at Houston. I would have had to put in another $500 for shipping. I would have had to get it shipped here and wait another week or two. But when she came out, she was like, hey, actually, um, that car is sitting in our lot. You want to just like go look at it from the outside. I can't have you test drive it. I can't have you get in it. I can't have you touch it because it's not yours and we're not a dealership. So we can't do all the dealership things. But you know, it's, it is here if you are interested in just like taking a little peek at it. I mean, yeah, I'll take that car rather than this one that might have accident damage. So basically we might be able to swap the cars since I'm doing the financing through Tesla uh, and I've already made my down payment. She's gonna see if we can just do a quick swap. This other car is already you know, here. So I, mm-hmm. I, I'm going to talk to my manager and see if there's any way that we can at least even swap it. Since it is Tesla lending, does make it a lot easier. Yeah. And that's why I want to see if there's any way that we would be able to transfer that loan. So, but I'm going to try and basically line everything up as much as I can. Sure. I would say, honestly, just go ahead and place your order for this one just to be safe. Um, but I'm like I said, I have to hand it off to the use team, unfortunately. So we left Tesla without a Tesla. Basically, they told me I couldn't take the car home today because they need to swap over the down payment from the other car. I need to reapply for the loan through Tesla for the other car, reapply for the insurance for the other car. But then on the way home just now, they called me and said, hey, we were able to swap over the down payment. Come take your car home today if you want. So we're on the way back to Tesla. I'm gonna take it home today, the new one. Uh, we'll figure out the rest later, I guess. Peace. No, oh my God, he just ruined it. This is the second one right here. The second one, okay. Cool. There you go. Uh, if you want to go, we have yeah, a sure. little name placard, so at least you can see. 
Okay, you go. let's go. Beautiful. Kind of glad the, the other one ended up being a little bit, you yeah. know, because uh, I feel like you got a pretty good deal out of this. I definitely did, and I didn't expect that. I wasn't trying to like fish for that. Or no, no, I like, know, wow, but I I'm really... telling you, it's always the customers that like they're like, no, but it's just okay, and it's like, yeah. okay, I, I promise I'm gonna <laughs> try even harder to make sure that we can assure that everything is, yeah. you know. There yeah, you go. That's amazing. Definitely not what I expected, but I really thank you so much for helping. No, of course. I'm I'm glad it was able to work out. All right, I'm on 2% battery, but I'm about to get into my new Tesla. There it is. It's open. Why are you, are you in a Tesla? I'm in my new 2020 all-wheel drive, long-range, full self-driving Model 3. You have to pay a difference? 1,000 less. Really? Yeah. So, basically... We, I discovered unreported accident damage on the one that I was going to accept. I was like, nah, I can't accept this. And they hooked me up, bro. It's been stressful. There's been a lot. And they really they really pulled through, though. So I got to tell you all about it. I'm going to make a whole ass video. <laughs> Hey guys, if you've made it this far in the video, uh, well, this is the end actually. So I just want to say thank you for watching and I hope that it was uh, at least a captivating or enjoyable video. But most importantly, I really actually just want to thank the entire team at the Houston Cypress Tesla location. You guys are all rock stars. You really pulled through for me. And, uh, and yeah, I really just can't thank you guys enough. You guys were absolutely amazing. Thank you.